Hey, what's going on you guys? This is Bryant from the Elite Diecast coming at you with another vlog. Just wanted to uh, upload this video. It was something I was just thinking about one night. I was, uh, I think I was at work or just getting off work. Um, and I was looking on eBay at, at some stuff. And um, this vlog is for cars that I wish were made into 118 scale models. This is just a preliminary list of um, cars that I like, that are currently in production, that I, I wish they actually made into models. Um, some of these are made into models, but they're made into resin. I like die casts. There'll be another video on that at some point in the future. Um, resin versus um, die cast models. Um, but this is gonna be for die cast. That's what I'm used to, that's what I like. Um, so without further ado, Let's get started. Auto Art manufactured the first generation for the 1998 model year. Ever since then, every navigator, in my opinion, has been basically a dramatic refresh. The only company that made any other generation was Welly, which was for the second generation or the 2005 model year. Fast forward to 2018, Lincoln has completely redesigned the Navigator to make it more in line to compete with the luxury models from Mercedes, Cadillac, Lexus, and etc. American style at its best is what I see in the Navigator. The Lincoln Continental was another stark reminder of American automotive styling standards back in the 1960s. With its long, low land yacht design and its rear suicide doors, made the Continental an American hallmark. From then, in, in modern times, the Continental was watered down into another sedan to compete with the masses. By the late 1990s, it was phased out completely for the Lincoln LS. The LS failed after one generation and the Lincoln MKS replaced it, which was a great car. However, the Lincoln brought back the Continental. The Continental is beautiful upscale and luxury sedan that is a broad departure from the 1990s models. It includes multiple choices and no suicide doors. However, some nicely designed door handles that are integrated into the lower window moldings. People need to know that American luxury sedans do actually exist. There are more than just the British, the German, and all these other um, companies out there. America still makes very nice cars. All new Jaguars. With the exception of the F-Type, basically all other Jaguar models have been ignored. These cars are the XE, the XF, and the XJ, and the F-Type. Are too beautiful to pass by and ignore. Hashtag British Beauties. The Cadillac Escalade has been a big hit since its debut in 1999. Since then, we have had three more generations and of those generations, only two have actually been made, which has been the second and the third generations. The, the current generation, which is on its fourth model year and is going strong, is a perfect example of an American SUV that offers both styling and comfort.
there have been models of every single Lexus LS from the first and to the most recent generation. The new LS500 is breathtakingly beautiful and a bold statement to the full-size luxury sedan market. Trucks. We can't ignore trucks. I grew up in the South. Guys and some women love their trucks. There are so many to offer and we need to see them in 118 scale. Concepts. Concept cars are a great visual and of what direction a automaker is planning on going. There has been a plethora of concept cars over the last decade have never been made into a 118 scale model. A lot of them are very beautiful and will look nice in anyone's collection. Genesis. This is just a note. Minicraft, which is a manufacturer that makes a lot of Kia and Hyundai cars, they already made the G80 and the G90. However, they're either hard to find or not in stock at all. And for them to be very nice cars and there's something different and new to the marketplace, you would think they will be available. They need to make them readily available. <music> niche hybrid cars and electric cars to name a few should be available i know we have the vault which i own one and the bmw i8 which i own that one as well are available however there are other hybrid and electric cars that are available especially equipment like tow trucks things of that nature that will make a great scene with anyone's diecast collection And finally, we have Rolls Royce, and speaking specifically for the Dawn, the Wraith, and the all-new Phantom. They are so beautiful. Just look at them. Who wouldn't want this in their collection? Enough said. Y'all see that what my top 10 list was? Tell me in the comments below if I missed anything or something um, that you would like to add as well see what your thoughts are are on that same subject and i see you all in the next one peace